of just driving, enjoying it. Um, I have been trying to return an AT&T product, but apparently we don't have to. So we're gonna see about that. Pedal, it gave me a reason to get out of the house and just kind of drive. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have a video ready, so let's make one. How do y'all like my Savage shirt? Ain't it fucking cute? Try and saying that five times fast. Savage shirt, Savage shirt, Savage shirt. There we go, fix the angle so you can actually see me. Well, that other angle was kind of cute, right? I'm sorry it's jerky. I'm using, of course, my phone holder, but I have the the XS Max, so it's like heavy, so it wobbles. But that's okay, you're still gonna watch my video, right? Like, love is love, period. Anyway, so I'm just driving back home. I'm out here, I'm South Louisville. I'm in southern part of Louisville, and it's very pretty. It's been so long since I've been out here. Um, and I just think of all the memories. <laughs> Of course, I'm a reminiscing individual. It's one thing I love to do. So to my right here, which you can't see, is our train tracks. It's actually, I think, our train station. It's very beautiful. Oh, I love it out here. And then to our, to my left, uh, we have the airport, which I've flown out of so many times, going to New York, going to Miami, going to Honduras. Oh God, it's it's great. It's it's amazing when you get to not only experience those memories and make those memories, but to relive those memories. Now the key is, you're not supposed to get stuck. You're supposed to keep making memories and keep going, and that's beautiful, that's what I'm doing. That's all we can do is continue to make more memories. That's the goal in life, not to get stuck in a rut or get stuck in the past, which that is very hard, let me, let me tell you. Because I am not perfect and I live in the past, it is, it is dangerous. It can be. It can be very sad and morbid and depressing if you don't really get a hold of it. And that's, that's all you gotta do. And it sounds easy, pero I promise it is not. So, you know, if you're struggling with it, that is okay. The point is to find your outlet to get you to a better place. See, because for me, so much control on my mind. I didn't stay in the in a rut. I lived how I wanted to be, which meant I, I didn't have an attitude. I was very loving and caring. I wasn't sassy. I mean, I'm naturally a sassy individual, but oh, I was so much better at expressing myself and doing the right thing, doing what I need to do to help my parents, my friends, my family. Uh, and now I'm just kind of in a rut again. And so, you know, that's okay. If you get somewhere and fall back, that it's not the end of the world. Because I haven't given up, right? And I feel like if I can keep going, definitely others can keep going. People like to say I'm a strong individual, but sometimes I do not... Um, I do not feel like that. Sometimes I feel weak. Sometimes, you know what? And that's not bad neither. Sometimes you need to be weak. I want to be vulnerable. Pero I have not been vulnerable for a very long time. So I kind of get stuck in that, um, I gotta be the strong one all the time. Like, I gotta be able to hold it down, I gotta be able to take care of everyone, I gotta be able to do everything. And that's tiring. It really is tiring. But all you can do is reach out for help. You know, there are multiple tools to help you get through whatever you're struggling with. Or you go in to get therapy. Or even, you know, some people want to be put on medication, and that's fine. If that's how you want to live your life, baby, do what you got to do to get through it at the end of the day. Or fall in love with your, with what you love. Like, what is it you love? I'm cutting you off, Chevy. Sorry. I'm going 75. Let me over. Thank you. Love you. 
fall in love with what you love. Like, you got musicians. Okay, look at my girl, Lady Gaga. Okay, she's fought depression, anxiety, all those crazy things, and she puts it into her music. And that's how she expresses herself. And I think that's why I'm so in love with her. Not saying she's the only one that does that. Obviously, a lot of them do that. But her, her, first of all, her music catchy as fuck, bitch. Yes, rain on me. Second of all, there's always meaning to it. Her, it always has meaning. Even though it's like poppy, and it was like, oh, that's just pop music. But her shit has meaning because she she writes down what she feels and she turns it into a musical expression that's beautiful for me it's videos i will talk your head off because i love to talk <laughs> and i love to be seen i'm theatrical that's me like i'm not i don't know what i was going to say there i'm very theatrical though i'm very dramatic anyone will tell you i'm dramatic in the terms of Taylor Swift, I've got a long list of ex-lovers, they'll tell you I'm insane. <laughs> I kind of am, you know, and it's just, it's my personality. I, sometimes I try to be dramatic, but most often I'm just dramatic. You will say the slightest thing to me and I will turn it into some drama. Because <laughs> it's funny to me. I think it's funny, you know, it, it's fun. I'm not saying I don't. Well, I was gonna say I don't cause negative drama. Do y'all see this, Travis? What the fuck is this? Oh, girl, I don't even know if y'all can see that or see beyond the truck, but there is traffic. Hopefully it's just because there's some semis. I do need to get over it, bitch. Don't you cut me off, because that's right, thank you. See what I mean? I'll get crazy if, <laughs> if I have to, I'll get crazy. GMC thought he was gonna cut me off, no sir. Anyway, I'm not a negative Nancy. Pero if something hurts my feelings, I'm over the top with it. That's just who I am. And I know it would make great for TV. And I think that's, oh no he did not. I think that's why, oh that was sexy. I think that's why I love YouTube so much because I can be seen and I can express myself and I can just be me and it's not causing problems with anyone else. I just come on here and pop shit and most of the time it's about myself. <laughs> I haven't popped shit about someone else in a, in a while. I think the last one I did uh, was when I was talking to that dude. Mm, he was crazy and I made some YouTube videos about him but I didn't say nothing bad about him. Mm -mm. I just expressed myself. But anyway. I love you guys. I do. I genuinely love you guys. And that's another reason why I'm so hard on my YouTube. I have 122 subscribers. You know, I'm not big. I'm not popping. My pussy will be popping. I know that. Put it in the universe, period. But I love you guys. Because if it wasn't for you all, like, what would I be making videos for? Like, you all watch me for some reason somehow I still don't know I entertain you guys and I love it I absolutely love it y'all are my angels okay so that's what that's what helps keep me going that's what put a fire in my ass today I'm like bitch you don't have a video for Wednesday you're off work <laughs> It's a pretty day, get out and do something, no matter what it is. So of course I'm gonna sit here and talk y'all's heads off, period. And y'all probably done clicked off by now, <laughs> and that's okay. I love you guys, regardless. Always find happiness within yourself. At the end of the day, when the world is shitty, and honey, the world is shitty. Find a way to find your happiness and your self-love. Because, baby, that will make your pussy pop for eternity. Not a man, not a woman, not family, not friends, not enemies, not haters. Yourself. Yourself is what will get you through the day. So if you feel down and you feel weak, bitch, come watch this video. Watch this motherfucking video. Because I get it. I've been there. I'm still there. Okay, I'm bipolar. Straight up bipolar. Like, there's no denying it. I'm pretty sure I was certified bipolar quite some years ago. So, 
And my mom explained it to me best. She goes, you have ups, and then you have a down, and you're down, and you're down, and then you have up, and it's like that. It is, that's, that's, that's not a lie. I mean, she's speaking facts. So I get it quite often, and I, am I in a dark, negative place? Bitch, if you don't grab your ladder or your step stool and step on it and get yourself out of that hole, at the end of the day, no one else can. People can help you, but you have to want it. At the end of the day, you have to want it. I'm still smoking. I've done Chantix. I've done the patches. I've done the pills. I've done the gum. I have to want it. Speaking of, let me tell you all. I got my CT scan results back regarding my lungs. The nodules on my lungs, they are in fact benign. Thank God, hallelujah, amen, praise Jesus. Hollywood be thy name, okay? Like, thank you, blessed be. And I, I kind of knew that because I've had my nodules for a while. I have, for years. You know, I've always known about all my Plenty of doctors have seen them. They all told me that's normal. It is what it is. So I kind of went into it thinking, I've had these for years. Nothing's popped up by now, you know, but still it's great. Now, what is lightweight scary is they said that another four millimeter, I guess, nodule has popped up. Pedal, good news. It is also benign, nothing to worry about. So that's very exciting. But anyways, off track. You have to want it at the end of the day. You have, and I know it's hard to want that shit when you're down. It is, it is so hard. It, it seems so much easier to just take yourself out. And I know that's very raw, but that's what I felt. I have felt that. Like, you know what, fuck it. Let me just take myself out. Let me get that eternal peace, purgatory, wherever I go. I'm sure it's better than here. That is not the case. Because even when it's hard to feel it or to see it or to know it, people love you. There are people here that love you, care about you, want to see you succeed in life. You know, I want that for you. I want to see all of you all succeed. Success, personal success is what matters. Period. My YouTube may never take off. But I know there's a small group of people who I bring happiness to, and that is success to me. Period. Love yourself, baby. I love you. But let me tell you, someone else's love is not enough. You gotta love yourself, period, at the end of the motherfucking day. I love you guys, my sweet angels. Thank you all for putting up with another wacky video of mine, Wacky Wednesday, how are ya? I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you for supporting me, liking, subscribing, commenting, watching, whatever it is you do. I appreciate it. I appreciate that love. Monkey out, guys. Bye!